What's going on guys, Esan Khan here, welcome to my YouTube channel and in today's video I'm going to be blowing your mind up and I'm going to be making you think much much bigger and by the end of this video you're going to really really be left scratching your head thinking but in a good way I promise. So in today's video I'm going to be talking about what you don't know you don't know, right? So this is a, a concept that not many people really think about on a day to day basis and it's about knowledge, right? And it's about the things that you know, right? If a tree falls in the woods and there's no one around, does it make a sound? Does it? Let me ask that question again. If a tree falls in a wood, in the woods, and nobody's around, does it make a sound? Now, for me personally, I think, yes, it does make a sound. Just the fact that nobody knows that it made a sound or could hear it doesn't mean it didn't make a sound, right? Um, and if we want to get really deep and technical, sound waves would have been made and would have made some sort of impact on it, the environment around it, right? But we don't know that. There could be many, many things happening right now that we don't know about. Think about some people in your family, right? Let's think about some of your friends. There's probably a lot of things happening right now that you don't know that they're going through. There's probably a lot going on right now that's going on in their head that are troubling them that you have no idea is happening, right? But you don't know that. And if you don't know that, you can't do anything about it, right? So, you, you know, this is what I'm talking about. You don't know what you don't know. And you can't affect change on anything that you don't know. So the reason why I'm talking about any of this is because when it comes to recruitment, I speak to literally hundreds of recruiters every single month. And I understand how they work and how they operate. And I can really, really see that a, the majority of recruiters that are out there are going to do things in a way which is not gonna lead them to what they want, right? So the goal for 99% of all recruiters out there is to make money, right? We all justify by we're saying we like to help people, we like to do whatever, right? You wanna make money. Right? That's why you're doing recruitment. You could be doing a million one other things if you want to help people. Right? Recruitment is about making money. We do it in the best way that we can. We do, you know, as a pro as a byproduct of helping people, as a byproduct of giving great service and consultant co consultation to our clients and our candidates, we make money. Right? But that's the end goal. Right? For all of us here, business owners, especially recruitment business owners, we want to make money as best as we can. We want to we want to have a great reputation, so we need to do things in the best way. We want to have a great reputation so that people do business with us in the future. But all of that is there so that we can make as much money as possible, right? And I just see so many people that, that aren't going to make money. I, I speak to so many people that are telling me that we, you know, have watched some videos on YouTube and, you know, it's easy. You know, all I need to do is keep boosting my LinkedIn and keep uh, connecting with people and I just do a post a day and I just send emails out to people. I tell people, you know, how great of a service I'm going to do, right? Am I sounding familiar to some of you where, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm sending emails out. Look, I speak to so many people that say this to me. I send emails out to so many clients and I tell them, you know, what kind of service we can give. We can give the best service, right? And we offer the lowest raise. We do 2%. Right? Maybe not 2%, but a lot of you are out there charging 10%, 5%, 15%, you know, and, and you're selling yourself on that. Now, the reason why I started off with that whole, you know, you don't know what you don't know is because that's what you know, right? So you know that if you send emails out to clients that you should get contracts, right? Why is that not happening then? Why are you not getting these contracts? Why are you not getting these contracts signed with your clients? If all you have to do is send emails, if all you have to do is get candidates and send them to clients and blah, 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 why are you not making placements then? Why is it not working for you? And I'll tell you why. It's because, like I said in my previous videos, recruitment is a science. It is a science. It's, it's, it's something which you have to understand the chemistry for in order for it to work. So if you just, you know, get some random chemicals, chuck them together, it's not going to work, right? You can even look at the ingredients of, 
you know, the, the best dish in the world, you know, it'll have all the ingredients listed. You can, you can look at a Coke bottle or a bottle of beer or whatever it might be, and you can see the ingredients. You can see what it takes to make this. Some even give you percentages. But then why can't you make it? Why can't you make it at home? Why is it that only these fancy companies with their fancy equipment can make these things? It's because they have the process. They understand the process for making this thing. Hey, you know, I'm a great cook. You know, I can make things really tasty, but then I'll go to a restaurant and I'll taste the same dish from a chef, probably with the same ingredients, but the method of preparation, the method of cooking, the timing, the equipment that they use, the way that they, you know, that's what makes the dish, right? So that's why I wanted to be, uh, yeah, that's why I wanted to make this video really, and just, just, just let you guys know that actually, there's a whole lot of things that you don't know about that is causing you to not do placements. So this video is really going out to people who, who haven't you know, had any formal training in recruitment, who haven't worked in a recruitment business before. You know, if you've worked in a recruitment business, it doesn't always mean that you've had training either. So, so that's a problem because you're, you're learning of people that haven't had training either and they've just you know, picked up on, they've just followed the things that have worked, right? Without necessarily taking a step back and looking at everything. So that's why training is really, really important as well because you get a whole overview picture from somebody who's, lived and breathed it for many, many years. Um, but, but that's what this video is about really, is just making sure, making, making sure that you're aware that not 100% of what you know is 100% of what there is to know, right? So that's really, really important. And I wanna say that again, 100% of what you know is not 100% of what there is to know, okay? So if you're looking to level up in your recruitment business, and make sure that you book a call with me and let's help, help to fill in some of those gaps and help you do deals.